here with Knox Williams of the American Suppressor Association. We're uh, here just prior to the NRA show in Nashville, and we're having a media day shoot uh, with suppressed rifles and handguns. And Knox, thanks for having us out. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the ASA and, and what you guys are doing? So the American Suppressor Association is a nonprofit trade group. Uh, basically, we represent the firearm suppressor industry, and that's manufacturers to distributors, dealers, and consumers. So really, we try and figure out the common goals and collective interests of everybody um, and work to find legislative and regulatory solutions to uh, make everything better. Right, right. Well, uh, I know in, in my state, Alabama, last year, uh, hunting for the first time with a suppressor was made legal. Uh, is that something you guys worked on? It's something that we do work on. Um, and, you know, we're part of a big team effort with groups like the National Rifle Association and the Congressional Sportsman's Foundation. Um, we're part of that puzzle. Uh, and we go out and we help pass legislation in, in, in states like Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Ohio, and Louisiana. Uh, they all legalized suppressor hunting last year, and we had a hand in those states. Oh, that's fantastic. And uh, well, what are some of the issues that you're working on now, like recent, that's going on now? What are some of the big pushes? So a few of the big pushes that we're working on include uh, suppressor ownership. Um, right now, you can own a suppressor in 39 states. Uh, so there's 11 more that we want to legalize suppressors in. Um, hand in hand with that, uh, we're obviously trying to legalize suppressor hunting in all 50 states. And the third issue that we're working on the state side is called shall sign or shall certify. Uh, basically, the same concept is shall issue for concealed carry. Um, as part of the process to purchase a suppressor, you have to get what's called a chief law enforcement officer signature. Um, and this shall sign legislation requires that chief law enforcement officers sign off on the form that you then send into the ATF as long as the applicant is not a prohibited person. What are some of the benefits of, of owning a, a suppressor uh, and using one? You know, just, what's the advantage? First and foremost, hearing protection. You know, firearms are loud. When you go shoot, it's a loud noise. It doesn't matter if you're shooting a 22 or a 5.56 or a 50, it's gonna be loud. Um, suppressors help mitigate that. And they reduce the sound signature by about 20 to 35 decibels on average, which is the same as standard earplugs and earmuffs. Um, so we're basically making the noise of a gun much more manageable and it makes it much more fun to shoot. You're also reducing recoil. Um, and when you shoot, you've got an explosion going off a couple feet away from your face. And we all do it we accidentally dry fire on the line to flinch because we're anticipating that explosion. Suppressors help you focus on fundamentals. Um, by containing that, um, it really helps you focus on the fundamentals because you can, you're can. you not worried about that loud noise and that sure. loud concussion that thumps you in the chest. Yeah, well, you know, and, and some of the critics, uh, some, some of the guys in the hunting crowd, you know, you hear things like, well, I hunt public land and, you know, if someone's shooting over there, I want to be able to hear it. And, and if suppressors are illegal, uh, you know, I, I fear safety reasons for that. What, what would you say to a guy like that? Well, for this particular video, you can hear some of that rifle fire. That's about 200 yards away. Everything that we're shooting here today is suppressed. It doesn't silence it. You know, we wish it did, but it doesn't. You know, it's still a very loud noise, and you can still hear it. Um, and that, that would be my retort to them. Sure. Well, Knox, thanks a lot for having us out.